All right, so we're gonna talk about for loops a little bit here. Um, we're gonna work with um, a set of elements and uh, just kind of write some code associated with it. What do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. So we're gonna be working on a for loop. So we're gonna start by uh, putting in a for loop, a simple for loop, for each in, and I'm gonna explain this to you, one, three, five, seven, nine, let's do that. Let's put commas in there, one, Three, five, seven, nine. Now, let me break this down a little bit. Four is the magic word, the key word that we're going to use here. Um, that get, lets us loop through things. Basically, it, it's the tool that we're going to use to make things go over and over again. Each is just a variable name that I've given it. I could have called it each. I could have called it X. I could have called it Bubba. It wouldn't really matter. Uh, in is another magic word. I'm going to show you how that works. And this is a is a set. All right, it's 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 a list of elements. Don't get too hung up on this little piece right now. You're going to learn about uh, sets and lists and dictionaries and all of those things later. Um, right now, just know that this is a list of numbers. All right, so I've got this list of numbers that I want to look at. So if I want to print that list of numbers. Inside my for loop, I can just say print each. So what am I saying? What I'm saying here is, use this magic word. For says I want to repeat something. In says I want to repeat the thing in that's in this group here. All right? And each simply is the variable. So for says go look in this group. Get the first variable and assign it to the variable each, and then print it. And then go back and get the next variable and assign it to each, and then print it. And then go back and get the next variable and assign it to each, so forth and so on. So it'll loop over and over. So if we look over here, we'll see that it loops through my list. And if I changed numbers in the list, you'd see that it just looks at that list and each of those could be, and again, each is just a variable. It doesn't matter what I call it. X is a terrible variable name, we know that, but you can see it still works the same. Um, so it's just each element in a group. So that's a really simple way to loop through a group.